Okay, now let's see how the passive voice is used in the news. About Trump. A rioter who was fatally shot by US Capitol Police has been identified as a San Diego woman. A woman believed to be Babbitt was seen in a viral video attempting to climb through a shattered window of the Capitol building when shots were fired. Another clip showed the woman covered in blood and being treated by paramedics who moved her on a stretcher away from the building. Facebook announced Trump will be blocked from posting for 24 hours. Trump still claims the election was stolen. On Twitter, this claim of election fraud is disputed and this tweet can't be replied to, retweeted or liked due to a risk of violence. But my lessons can be shared and they can be liked too. Okay? Windows were smashed at US Capitol by Trump supporters. Smoke was seen emanating from the Capitol. The rioters reached all the way into the Senate chamber from where the, the vice president was hushed away by security. A rioter was seen on tweets sitting in the chair of the Senate president and on TV people with Trump flags and placards were shown wandering around the chamber. One day after his arrest for allegedly vandalizing a church BLM banner, Proud Boys leader Enrique Tarrio was ordered to stay away from DC. The election wasn't stolen. All that proof you kept sharing about suitcases and duffel bags of discarded ballots, it's all been debunked. All the affidavits claiming widespread fraud have been thrown out. Over 60 lawsuits contesting the election in Arizona, Georgia, Michigan, Nevada, Pennsylvania, Wisconsin, Republican states, have been tossed out. You've been taken for a ride. Trump's hack attorneys are being sued or under threat of disbarment. A cop was dragged down a flight of stairs. Another was beaten with an American flag. That's why Trump is being held accountable for his crimes. The president has been impeached and accused of inciting a mob. Can Trump be tried after he leaves? I hope so. If Trump is convicted, a simple majority of senators would be needed to block him from running again in 2024. On COVID-19, the virus which causes the respiratory infection COVID-19 was first detected in the city of Wuhan, China, in late 2019. 
Official data shows that, so far, 12.2 million vaccine doses have been administered in the US. So far, 76 people from 10 US states have been confirmed to have been infected with the UK variant. Two other variants, one from South Africa and one from Brazil, are also thought to be more contagious than the original one. Africa has recorded more than 3 million cases, but the true extent of the pandemic there is not known as testings, testing rates sorry, are low. Concern is growing about a South African variant of the disease, which is a thought to share some similarities with the new UK strain. From Monday, January 18th at 4 a.m., all travel corridors with the UK will be suspended. This will ensure that the government is able to protect the progress being made on the country's vaccination program. This move will be supported by increased enforcement both at the border and across the UK. The new measures will be reviewed on Monday, February 15th. In England, the vaccine is being offered in some hospitals and pharmacies at hundreds of local vaccination centres run by GPs and at larger vaccination centres. It's being given to people aged 80 and over, people who live and work in care homes, health and social care workers at high risk. The vaccine will be offered more widely as soon as possible. Ah, and you also need to be registered with a GP surgery in England. Wait to be contacted. The NHS will let you know when it's your turn to have the vaccine. It's important not to contact the NHS for a vaccination before then. The COVID-19 vaccine is given as an injection into your upper arm. It's given as two doses. You will have the second dose 3 to 12 weeks after having the first dose. If you've been sent a letter, you can book your vaccination appointments online. Other vaccines are being developed. They'll only be available on the NHS once they have been thoroughly tested to make sure they are safe and effective. Cross our fingers. Well, that's it for me tonight. I'm tired and I just hope I was able to show you just how much the passive voice is used in the news. Mm -hmm.